Josie Guido on uh, YouTube does or did a video on these gorgeous altered envelopes. Oh, hers were amazing. She used a lot of her jelly prints and I mean, they were just stunning. And so I'm watching it and I'm like, oh, I gotta try that. So I started screwing around with them. And you take an ordinary junk envelope here. You know, the kind that come in with your junk mail, either a window envelope or one without. And then you alter it. Or you can use a nice envelope. I, I get a couple plain ones. Um, this one was a just a regular business size envelope. And I um, gessoed it. Then I painted it with gold paint. And then I stamped it. Um, did some little hash marks on it, punched a hole with my crocodile, and put a, a little um, eyelet in there, and using some gold cord, which I then tied a little bit of wire that I kind of twisted. You can see that. Twisted a little curly cue, and then I had these little dangle. Things. I think it was an earring. I don't remember. I have a, a pile of junk jewelry. But um, it, it's attached to the, um, the hole, through the hole. And then you can just tuck it in to close it. This is my favorite one. It turned out really good. And then I took one. And this one is, again, a junk envelope and instead of uh, painting it and just sewing it I covered it in paper this is some paper that I brought back from Japan several years ago I was there um, tagging along my sister was there in business so I went along just for the fun of it and then some uh, book pages I put some of the um, Japanese paper it's very um, high quality paper. I mean, it's got some substance to it. And then, you know, the book pages. And uh, the book pages I decoupaged. And then um, I did some stamping on them. I don't have that many stamps, but, you know, I like this one. And uh, then I sprayed it with a uh, sealer, which worked really good. And then I... I put a button, a metal button on, and in order to keep it from popping through, I put a little tiny plastic button behind it. And um, I actually sewed it on, and it works really good. I just used some embroidery floss. Um, well, I guess you can do it. It's long enough that you can do it a couple times here. Okay, and so that one turned out really good also. I like it. Um, then I used one of those kind of um, business type envelopes or for literature, you know, that people send. I have a whole box of them. I used them for um, sending something. I don't even remember what it was for now. But this one, again, I covered it in Japanese paper. This paper was a little heavier, um, but it's so pretty. And then I had this Japanese writing, and if anybody knows Japanese, I apologize if I put it upside down because I have no clue. <laughs> I put it behind, or I put some black paper behind it. And then on the other side, I um, lightly, very lightly uh, painted it white and put some uh, stamps in blue on it and I thought that turned out really well so it's uh 
This is one of the ones that actually you could open up. Some of them got very stiff. Um, then I was playing around and I took some uh, plain paper and some book. Actually, I took the entire book page and I glued it. Yeah, I made an envelope shape out of it. Oh, the book page was one of the ones that I stained with um, dye that Shannon Green had shown. So I kind of did the same thing where you wet it and put the dye on it. I, that was fun. Okay, um, I had a little image here of a bird that I put on. Um, I kind of messed around and put just my finger some little gesso. I had a brad that's in the shape of peace symbol and I've got the little branches. Um, and because it was stiff and everything, I lined it with wax paper before I glued it together. So um, I thought it turned out real pretty. It's not real heavy duty or anything. You know, it's not something you're going to want to put through the mail because post office would destroy it. Then, if any of you watched my other videos, you know that I've been messing around with coffee filters. I mean, lots and lots of coffee filters. So I got the bright idea that I'm going to cover some envelopes with coffee filters. Well, it was a good idea, but when they dry, I, I painted them. I put the coffee filters on with decoupage. And I also tried gel medium, and um, I put them on and then painted them with, you know, just lightly did a wash of some gold paint and used a, you know, stamp pad, distress pad and stuff on them. And I don't know if you can see, it It has kind of a shine to it. Um, this one also. Um it turned out pretty, but they're so stiff. I mean, terribly stiff. And so I've been rubbing, I rubbed mineral oil into them, and I rubbed um, car wax into them. <laughs> and then I just put some furniture polish on them. And I just kept rubbing them and rubbing them until it like soaked into the paper. And they're a little bit better. Because when I folded the flap down initially, it was like everything started to break. So they're kind of like, okay, they're pretty, but they're not very practical. <laughs> so what can I say? It was a thought. Uh, I mean, the coffee filters really give a nice, pretty design and everything. I like that. And then I had one that I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll use something to give it you know that is flexible now this silver stuff is um if you've ever seen one of those blankets that emergency crews put on people to keep them warm they're that silver insulated stuff and they're thin they're flexible i had one in the garage that i was kind of using as a drop cloth it had been in my trunk of my car it's in my earthquake kit and I, it finally got kind of wrinkled up and everything, so I took it out. But anyway, I thought, well, I'll put the coffee filters on that. And then I tried gluing the edges. Didn't work. I tried score tape. Didn't work. This stuff here, this silver stuff, nothing wants to adhere to it. So, I mean, it kind of worked, but I think I'm going to have to sew it. Um, either by hand or by machine, which I don't mind. I mean, this one, instead of whole coffee filters, I use little scraps. And, you know, it could be, I suppose, a journal cover, except it won't hold up much. It's really, <laughs> really stiff. Okay, and then while I was on a roll with my Japanese papers, I uh, took some cardstock and I cut a size here. I don't, I don't 
know how big it is. It's um oh it's about seven by five and a half, something like that. Anyway, um I put this paper on the front. It has kind of a sheen to it, it's very pretty. I had some rice paper that has uh fibers in it. So I use that on the inside. And then I made my signatures out of just plain paper. And I put them in with waxed linen. And then on the uh, waxed linen, I added some dangles, um, different beads and bindings, jewelry bindings. And then I also um, tied onto the, the linen this cording. Don't ask me why. It just kind of fit. And then um, I can't get it to stay closed. I may make a fastener for it. But in the meantime, I have this uh, oddball paper clip thing. It's kind of a different shape. And so I put that on. But, you know, it doesn't look that bad with that paper clip. Okay. And while I was still on a roll, I thought, well, if we could alter envelopes, why can't I alter a file folder? So I took a file folder and I gessoed it on both sides, stamped all over it, did some psh, psh, psh with, uh, oh, I used a credit card, the edge of a credit card, dipped in black paint and did the little hash marks. Um... This is a, a, one of those Prima stamps with the girl in the gown. Really like those. Um, I colored her. Well, first I uh, stamped her and then I embossed her in silver. I don't know if you can tell that. And then um, I used colored pencils. The, um, because of the gesso and everything, I, the, you can't really feel the embossing. You can kind of see it. it. It looks better in person than it does on camera. But I thought it was kind of cute. You know, it's if you have to carry papers or something, this is kind of different. Um, I may spray it with a sealer since it has kind of rough texture. And I have another one. This one isn't a file folder that opens all the way. This is more of a pocket. And I haven't done anything to it except a quick wash of a uh, thin, thin coat of gesso on it. So I'll be doing something with that eventually. Um, also, in my... Um, I think I showed all these. Okay. That's it. Uh, that's kind of what I've been up to lately. Um, again, I very, really appreciate you watching. Sorry this was so long, but um, I kind of get carried away and I don't talk real fast. So anyway, have a very nice day. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you really like my channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> I never know what direction to do it. A thumbs up. Okay. Please be nice to each other. Peace.